دلوقتي عندي اتنين وربع مليون طفل جديد بيتولد طب انا عندي 100 مليون عايز اعيشهم اعمل ايه؟ اتنين الا ربع دولت احتياجاتهم فين؟ احتياجاتهم من الغذاء، احتياجاتهم من السكن، احتياجاتهم من الصحه، احتياجاتهم من التعليم هو في الاخر المواطن عايز يا دكتور مصطفى؟ عايز يعيش وانا كمان عايزه يعيش احنا كمصريين عندنا طموح وعاوزين بلدنا تكبر وعاوزين بلدنا ما يبقاش عندها مشاكل وعاوزين احتياجاتنا كلها تبقى موجودة هنخرج من اللي احنا فيه للي احنا بنتمناه لنفسنا والبلدنا أنا كمسؤول عنكم ما بيفكرش في حاجة فقط غير الحفاظ على الدولة المصرية لأن إحنا الحجم العمل المطلوب في مصر حجم ضخم جدا وهنربح منه حاجة واحدة أقول لكم هو رضا ربنا ورضاكم عايز أفضل خدام لله وللناس لغاية لما أمشي فربنا يوفقنا with our main uh, topic uh, today in the breakfast show. Uh, well, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi witnessed on uh, Sunday the inauguration of a number of desert uh, cultivation and land reclamation projects uh, in uh, Toshka region in uh, Aswan. Uh, the projects included uh, the Toshka, uh, uh, Toshka al-Khir uh, scheme. The inauguration was attended by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and a number of ministers and uh, uh, senior officials. Uh, they, uh, the uh, uh, the project of Tushka al Khir uh, is, is in southern uh, Oswan and it is uh, the largest uh, in the Middle East and one of the biggest and giant projects that aim uh, to bring uh, life back to the project that was stalled for some time. Well, to shed more li light on the uh, project of Tushka that was inaugurated by President Abdel Fattah Sisi, we have the pleasure to host today in the breakfast show our dear guest, Mrs. Amira Sayed, journalist, Egyptian Gazette. Good morning, uh, Mrs. Good morning. Well, Mrs. Sayed, um, uh, during the inauguration of uh, the Toshka uh, project, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, gave uh, statements, and uh, the president said uh, that uh, now he is inaugurating the uh, Toshka uh, project, uh, and that the state have solved uh, the challenges uh, and uh, it faced in order to solve the problem uh, concerning uh, uh, the Toshka uh, project uh, uh, since. 20 years ago. Yeah. What's your comment? Yeah, uh, uh, definitely, uh, as you mentioned, the Tushka uh, project is considered the biggest and the largest land reclamation project in uh, the Middle East and one of the most important uh, national um, mega projects here uh, yes. in Egypt. And actually, uh, this project came within the framework of the state efforts to develop Upper Egypt since 2014. President yes. Sisi gives this file a top uh, priority. priority. Regarding Tushka, as you mentioned, it was uh, launched in uh, like uh, um, in 1997, uh, uh, this project was originally scheduled to be inaugurated in uh, uh, 2017. However, there are certain challenges that hampered the progress of this project. But um, uh, last year, particularly since July 2020, President Sisi breathed new life into this project and revived this project as it is one of the key projects that will like give extra boost to agriculture yes. sector uh, uh, in general. And actually, all these efforts go in tandem with the broader strategy of the state to ensure decent life for Egyptian citizens. And also, it goes in tandem with Egypt's vision 2030. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. um, according to President Sisi, the key challenges facing this project was, were not related to the feasibility of this project. No, there was a sh a funding shortage was the key challenge yes. uh, of facing this project, as 60% of the uh, uh, pro, uh, lands um, within Tushka El Khair project are arable uh, uh, land. So definitely uh, one of the most important uh, benefits of this project that it will be cultivated with the strategic crops like uh, wheat uh, and uh, cotton, especially that wheat is considered a basic commodity for uh, Egyptians and they rely on it um, on daily basis for their daily uh, routine. So Egypt is trying to achieve like self-sufficiency and also increase its exports uh, uh, from agricultural uh, pro uh, products. So definitely this will mark a leap in the agricultural sector in general. 
Yes, yes. So, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sayed, um, and also President Abdel Fattah Sisi named uh, uh, a certain access there in Toshka uh, under the name of uh, Dr. Kamal Al Ganzuri. How do you see the importance of this? Yeah, uh, um, definitely. Um, uh, President Sisi, uh, like we can say, he give credit to those who the mastermind behind this, this mega uh, project. project. Yeah. So definitely, uh, uh, this is a very important step, and it it has a very significant, yes, a very important significance. To, yes. Yeah, yeah, to those who are like uh, we can say um, who give this file a top priority and who give green light to this uh, amazing uh, project that have. Unfortunately, it has like, faced many challenges, but now all these challenges are uh, being tackled in order to open new chapter in uh, Tushka uh, area. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, Mrs. Uh, uh, Sayed, uh, also President Abdel Fattah Sisi, during the inauguration of the uh, Tushka uh, project, said that the water that is used to irrigate lands in uh, northern and central Sinai comes from uh, Bahr al Ba'ar uh, station, and uh, he said a, th a three phase water treatment process have been implemented at uh, Bahr al-Ba'ar station, adding that the first time in history, half a million Fadans in Sinai will be uh, cultivated. Yeah, definitely uh, the agricultural project in uh, Sinai is also of a paramount uh, importance. Yes. And all these projects, they are within the framework of the broader strategy of the state uh, to increase the, uh, the cultivated uh, land and to create integrated agricultural yes. uh, communities. Uh, regarding uh, uh, North and uh, Central Sinai in particular, we have seen that now uh, uh, there is a plan to cultivate uh, 5,100 uh, um, uh, fed lands in in, uh, this uh, area so far in the first phase um, 85,000 uh, fed dens were cultivated out of uh, 100,000 fed dens which is uh, uh, allocated for the first phase definitely when we are talking about a uh, land reclamation project ensuring yes. the transport uh, network and also uh, access to water they are the mega pillars or the main pillars of the uh, to ensure the success of each project yes. so regarding the uh, water uh, president cc referred that uh, this project received water from the w wastewater uh, uh, treatment plant in Bahr al Bakr in uh, Port Said. And um, definitely, Bahr al Bakr is uh, the greatest wastewater uh, treatment uh, plant in, in the Middle uh, East. And now Egypt is uh, taking or playing a pioneering role in reusing uh, wastewater after uh, uh, three phases of uh, treatment. So now yes. we have seen. Uh, really um, a remarkable boom both in water and agricultural sector because they rely they are connected to each um, other so yes. definitely this is a very important step yeah. yes so mrs said also president of fatah sisi during his statement uh, uh, during the inauguration ceremony he said that the national interest uh, di dictates uh, the necessity uh, to complete the toshka project despite hardships hardships uh, and uh, the high cost yeah yeah uh, president sisi said that uh, um, we, uh, the engineering efforts in uh, Toshka project resemble the construction of Aswan High Dam, yes. and this reflects the seriousness of the state in order to ensure the success of this project, and also it reflects the uh, tireless efforts exerted by the state in order to remove any obstacles facing the progress of this project. For example, President Sisi referred to um, uh, uh, exploding the uh, nine-kilometer granite wall that was yes. one of the many challenges facing the project, using like three million tons of explosives so yes. there is a real uh, progress on real ground and we have seen that um, many steps have been taken for, we are not uh, just talking or we have moved from vision into action on the real ground so, yes yeah. yes so mrs said also uh, the president said uh, that um, um, that he hopes that the objectives of uh, this project uh, will be uh, met by next october uh, very uh, soon and also called on the private sector to mm -hmm. take part in the development process so we'd like to shed light on the private sector yeah. and the president uh, speaking about the importance of the, the private uh, and encouraging the private mm -hmm. sector uh, definitely in light of the recent developments on real ground uh, we are very optimistic that this uh, goal will be met um, according to uh, the effects schedule announced by uh, president uh, CC and definitely the private sector plays a major role in uh, in 
all development projects. And we have seen in the last years, according to the directives of President Sisi, all ministries, all concerned ministers, they are keen on fostering smart public-private partnership. Private yes. sector play a major role in uh, uh, many development, mega development projects uh, being implemented here uh, in Egypt. So we are optimistic that uh, this um, the targeted goal will be reached by uh, according to uh, the announced schedule, in light of the recent progress, we have seen that many Egypt has making strides in agricultural sector. We have Nile Delta project, uh, the 1.5 million fat dance. So we have mega projects that are being implemented. And definitely, Toshka project and also the development projects in Sinai uh, will be a milestone in, uh, in this field. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So, uh, Mrs. Said, also during the inauguration of uh, Toshka project, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi inaugurated the, the Toshka East Oinet Road uh, through the video uh, conference. Yeah, um, as I mentioned, uh, there are certain facilities that should be available to ensure the success yes. of any project. Definitely the um, um, net road network, transport in general, water access, and also um, uh, other facilities, they integrate each other. So regarding the uh, road network, definitely uh, uh, this road is of a paramount uh, importance and it will facilitate all uh, the uh, implementation steps of uh, uh, this uh, project. And we also, this was part of the um, mega project projects are being held in uh, transport sector in Upper Egypt. Uh, we have seen that many efforts are being exerted by transport minister in order to open new roads, upgrade the efficiency of the road network in general. We have seen also the railway station, they are being upgraded in cooperation yes. with many international partners. So definitely ensuring uh, adequate transport or uh, transport access in a development project, definitely it is a top priority and definitely this road came within the framework of the mega projects being implemented by the state in this sector. Yes. So, uh, Mrs. Said, also uh, uh, the president concluded his uh, inauguration ceremony of Tushka by uh, inspecting uh, the farms of Tushka Al Khir project. Yeah, uh, definitely, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Tushka, uh, the Tushka project targets uh, the cultivation of the strategic crops like uh, uh, wheat, uh, corn and uh, uh, cotton. And it will be according to uh, uh, the agriculture minister, uh, Said al -Qusir, he said that this project will be like a leap and um, will mark a quantum leap, uh, leap in the agriculture sector as it will increase Egypt's exports and also ensure food security and self-sufficiency of this uh, project. Also, we have to take into consideration that the largest uh, uh, date uh, farm in the world, uh, it is in uh, Toshka, and it's expected that there will be more palm trees will be uh, uh, um, uh, planted in this uh, area, and this will increase Egypt's exports from uh, uh, dates. So, uh, President Sisi, uh, give a top priority to all these uh, farms in Tushka Al Khair project. Yeah. Yes. M Mrs. Uh, Sayed, uh, uh, well, concerning the inauguration of the Tushka project, it's a part of uh, uh, the Upper Egypt Week, which President Abdel Fattah al Sisi started uh, last Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it's going to last for one week. Yeah. And uh, which shows how uh, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi uh, pay good care for uh, Upper Egypt that was in previous years before President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, came to office yeah. was really neglected. Yeah. So could you talk to us about this? Yeah, definitely. Usually uh, people in Upper Egypt they feel that they are marginalized, they uh, suffer yes. from lack of services, that uh, they are away from uh, any development efforts by the state. But yes. we have seen that now everything has, uh, the situation has changed under the leadership of President Sisi. Since 2014, President Sisi gave cre clear directive that there should be more efforts mm. in order to uh, narrow and fill development uh, uh, gaps. So we have seen that many projects are being implemented and uh, Upper Egypt governorates, including Kena, Suhaeg, Asyut, Bani Suif, Fayyum. We have seen that mm. Egypt has made strides in uh, this uh, field. According to uh, local development minister Mahmoud Sharawi, he said the total investments in Upper Egypt, uh, we are talking about the investments only, yes. exceeded uh, 53 uh, billion uh, pounds. So all these steps um, uh, stress or reflect the seriousness of the state in uh, uh, offering adequate life to citizens in Upper Egypt. And all these efforts uh, uh, actually, they are under the umbrella of Decent Life uh, Initiative, which has changed the uh, 
uh, life of all Egyptians yes. in uh, uh, rural uh, areas. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mrs. Uh, Said, also don't forget that uh, the Decent Life Initiative uh, that was launched by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, started from Upper Egypt. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This reflects that President Sisi is giving a top priority to uh, uh, this uh, file. Yes. And um, we have seen that the government is allocating like um, considerable budget to uh, this mega development project. And we have seen also smart partnership with the World Bank, for example, in order to uh, uh, implement the projects yes. related to developing uh, Upper Egypt. We have seen like a real progress and we can say renaissance in many sectors in Upper Egypt. For example, in transport sector, we have seen now uh, there are development access uh, over the Nile, 14 uh, development access in Upper uh, Egypt with a hefty uh, uh, cost. We have also seen that there are many road networks now they are being upgraded in uh, uh, Upper uh, Egypt. If you are talking about the industrial domain, we have seen that now um, the, um, the Ministry of Industry is giving a top priority to supporting small and medium-sized enterprises in Upper yes. Egypt in order to offer more job opportunities to people uh, in, uh, in Upper Egypt. Even in environmental field, we have seen now Egypt has its um, solid waste uh, management and uh, uh, definitely Upper Egypt, 33% of uh, the total funds allocated to this yes. project targeted uh, Upper Egypt. So in all domains, we have seen that there is a remarkable uh, progress and uh, soon we will see a new face for Upper Egypt as we are uh, um, uh, opening a new chapter with yes. the new republic. We will see also new Upper Egypt. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, Mrs. Said, um, also the president, uh, starting from uh, last week, from uh, Wednesday, uh, he integrated a number of national development uh, projects in uh, Upper Egypt through the Upper Egypt uh, uh, week, of course, dedicated yeah. to uh, Upper Egypt. Uh, and also, um, um, he... Um, uh, integrated the sustainable development uh, projects uh, uh, that would uh, um provide job opportunities, of course. What's your comment? Yeah, uh, uh, definitely. When we are talking about sustainable development, Egypt has its own strategy, which Egypt Vision 2030. And also it has a major uh, initiative, presidential initiative, which is a uh, decent life. How is these uh, developing projects and mega projects are going to meet uh, the vision of uh, 2030? Yeah, definitely. When we are talking about developing uh, upper Egypt in, in all sectors, yes. this means that more job opportunities will be offered to those people when you are talking about Toshka we are targeting creating integrated agricultural uh, communities in order mm. to ease the, or we decrease the uh, density in uh, the Nile Valley and uh, uh, Delta. So we have seen now many progress in different projects. As I mentioned now, uh, the um, um, Ministry of Industry is giving a priority to support uh, SMEs in, in Upper Egypt. This creates more job yes. uh, opportunities. If we are talking about also um, other sectors, uh, um, all mega development projects, mm. it requires manpower. So definitely this will help to curb the unemployment rates in, uh, in Upper uh, Egypt. People, they do not have to like to move to Cairo or Greater Cairo in order to get a job opportunity. Now they have integrated communities in Upper Egypt. We have seen many villages that have been mm. upgraded within the framework of Decent Life Initiative. Many schools are being opened and also old schools are being renovated. So definitely now we can say that the face of Upper Egypt is now being changed now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. So, um, Mrs. Uh, Said, uh, also the president inaugurated uh, uh, the fuel production complex at uh, Asyut Company uh, for oil refinery. Yeah. And uh, Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Egypt, uh, uh, as I mentioned, every step being taken in Upper Egypt, it came within the framework of a broader strategy of the state. If yes. we are talking about oil sector, Egypt has its vision in order to turn into a regional hub for, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for energy and for oil. So um, if we are talking about uh, 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 this uh, project, uh, Egypt is trying to increase its uh, oil uh, products and also uh, export in order to meet its target to be a regional hub. So definitely um, every sector we will find that in every sector there is a mega project being implemented in uh, Upper Egypt. If we are talking about industry, we have industrial complexes that have been integrated in, in Upper Egypt. If we are talking about agriculture, we have mega projects like Tushka El Khair project. If we are yes. talking about oil, so we have also a mega project. And we are expecting in the upcoming period that more projects is going to be 
uh, uh, implemented. And this is the role of media. It's very important. And Ms. Uh, President Sisi stressed the paramount importance of shedding light on uh, Egypt's efforts in Upper uh, Egypt. As we, today, we are diving into details about this mega development project. It's a very important step yes. in order to raise the uh, public awareness. People, um, they need to like um, feel uh, that they are going to reap the fruits of this mega development project in the near yes. future. Yes. So, uh, Mrs. Said, um, what, would, what do we expect uh, from uh, uh, the development projects uh, that the mega and national uh, uh, giant projects uh, taking place in uh, Upper Egypt that were inaugurated and uh, is, are going to be inaugurated during this week by Pre President mm -hmm. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi? What do we expect from them uh, uh, on the economic side? Yeah, on economic side, definitely. When we are talking about uh, Tushka uh, project, uh, yes. we are expecting that more or uh, real progress and uh, the agricultural product. This will lead to um, a remarkable increase in agricultural uh, products, according to the spokesperson of the agriculture ministry, uh, Mohammed Al Qush. Dr. Mohammed Al Qush said yesterday that uh, there will be like a leap in uh, the uh, exports of dates, for example, because many palm trees uh, are to be um, increased in uh, Tushka. Uh, uh, projects so we, on agricultural fields that we are expecting more experts and also achieving self-sufficiency and increasing experts of strategic crops like wheel cotton uh, and uh, corn uh, if we are talking about uh, the oil sector, definitely also this will this is part and parcel of the economic uh, progress. So in the upcoming period, we are expecting that Upper Egypt will be the driving wheel for the economic growth of the country. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, I thank you so much for your valuable information. Yes. Thank you for uh, coming today in the breakfast show, uh, Mrs. Amira Sayed, journalist, Egyptian Gazette. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for following me in this segment. My name is Aman Mukhtar. I leave you with the rest of the segments of The Breakfast Show. The marriage relationship was pictured across all ages in a way that showed loyalty and sincerity. For there are many clues that point to the family tie between the couple on one side and between their children on the other side. For the Egyptian artist was keen on producing statues that present families being shown as one unit, gathering around their leader and depending on him. If the husband stood, his wife stood next to him, and if they sat, they sit together on one bench. So the wife sits next to him, expressing the connections between them with the movements of both her hands or one of them. So she holds him tenderly with love with her right hand and touches him with the left hand. Sometimes we see her putting her hand on one of his shoulders or his knees and other times their hands are crossed together as a symbol of her love to him and her attachment to him. The wife used to help her husband in managing the house affairs, and the Egyptian woman is considered a main support of all home affairs. For she wakes up in the early morning to prepare breakfast to her husband and children, 